Hello everyone, in this video we will have a look at all the documentation provided by Miltech to use the new supercarrier add-on like a pro and see for example what are the calls of your landing officer or what means the light of the carrier to guide you. First thing first, this is the list of all the features you'll have with the Miltech Supercarrier Pro add-on. And as you can see, it's quite complete and far more advanced than what we had so far in Flight Simulator. But let's not waste any time and we go straight into the tutorial. So Miltech had the good idea to put a glossary with their document and it's always good to know what we are talking about. So the first thing you want to do is to locate a carrier. As you know, there's two carriers in this pack, the Ford Class 78 and the Nimitz Class 76 with moving and static ships. And here's where you can find them all and their functions. So as you can see, the hangar is not accessible on the static ones, okay? Then you select an aircraft and as you can see, you can choose any type of aircraft, but Miltech is recommending to use the default FA-18 for training. And personally, I would say that the DC Design F-14 is also a good choice. So if you have selected a moving carrier, you can use the teleport function in the control tab. Note that it's an experimental feature at the moment, but I'm using it for a week on PC and it works quite well. It goes without saying that you can access the Miltech panel by using the Miltech icon here in your toolbar. So speaking of the toolbar, let's have a closer look at all the options because at the beginning I was struggling a bit to understand everything. So in the toolbar you have three tabs, the landing tab, the control tab and the setting tab. Here I will put a screen of all the options available in each tab but I'm not going to read everything because it will take too much time and you can just come back here if needed. But we are going to focus on the launch procedure and the signs of the flight deck officer. The guy with the yellow jacket who guides you and what uh, his signs means. So just to add a little bit of content and knowledge to this tutorial, here's all the different jacket colors because the various functions of the flight deck crew are identified by the colors they wear. Yellow for the flight deck officers and aircraft directors, purple for fuel handlers, green for catapult and arresting gear crews, blue for tractor drivers and brown for trucks and chain runners, and red for crash and salvage team and ordnance handlers. If he's got the hands up waving, you need to move forward and of course, just adjust left or right following his indications. When he cross his arms, you need to stop and set the parking brake. Once your parking brake is set, lower the launch bar and unfold your wings, so it depends on your aircraft. Flaps set to take off and then you can click on the yellow check mark here to arm the catapult. The jet blast deflector will rise automatically and the green vest is going to give the ready signal like this. When you reach this point, now click on the green arrow here called by Miltech the salute button and full thrust. The shooter, the other guy on your front left with the yellow jacket is going to give the go and you will be in the air from 0 to 165 miles per hour in 2 seconds. And we finished the takeoff procedure.
Now that we are in the air, you are going to think, oh, maybe we should have studied the ship and landing procedure. So let's have a look at this part. I really like the fact that Miltech spent so much time doing this amazing documentation with very detailed information, as you can see here on the screen. And the link will be in the description, of course. And now it's time to see everything to land on a carrier. Read carefully the information here. I would just draw your attention on the detail because maybe it's not obvious, but you don't flare your aircraft when you land on a carrier. I don't know if you ever watched a real landing video, but the whole procedure is brutal. All right, you have three assistants to guide you during the landing. Let's begin by the optical landing system here. Remember that those lights are meant to help you with the glide slope and you need to keep it always in the middle. Because it can be tricky to see it on the screen, Miltech also put it in the landing tab here, which is far more convenient. So always keep the orange light, the ball, in the middle aligned with the green bar. If you see red flashing light, abort the landing and try again. The second assistance is the long range lined up system. As you will see on the screen, once you have looked at this picture, you will understand a lot better how it's working. Like for the ball, keep the orange or amber light in the middle. I know it's very easy to say, but not really to do. And the last assistant is your landing signal officer, who will guide you by saying if you are too low or too high, or if you are too slow or too fast for the glide slope. And you can see all his codes here on the screen. Hats off to Miltech again for giving all those details. Alright, we have seen everything for the landing and now you just need to practice again and again. And don't forget to stop by Miltech Discord to show off your scores and also to put them in the comments. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon on the channel.